good afternoon, YouTube. Um, thank you for all the videos, the news stories, musicals, um, music, live, and um, also in the movies. Um, and I like, and I'm a historian of old movies, and I love it when you show silent movies as well as the modern day movies that have a message and leave something to the imagination. And and I do comment. I comment as Ella Scott. You know me as Ella Scott, but I'm really. Um, my first name is Ree. People call me Ree because I have an American Indian uh, name. It's kind of long, but um, most people call me Ree. And um, my last name is Edwards. I was born and raised in um, Brooklyn, New York, um, Williamsburg Housing. I'm a very shy person. I don't usually do videos like this, but I'm doing it because I feel I'm not in a good place situation right now. I tried for two months to get help, and help was not available, and I knew that because of the pandemic and all the other stuff going on. It's about housing, and it's about the main thing is about January 4th, the inspection of repairs that should have been done five years ago. I'll talk about it more tomorrow. Today is January, and by the way, today is January 2nd. It's after 3.30 on a Saturday. Um, the day after New Year's Day. I did do a video the day after Christmas, but I didn't think it was good quality and, and didn't do, I didn't do myself justice or do you justice to send a video like that, so I just took it down. So I'm trying it again because I have no choice. I feel that um, I don't have a witness, I don't have anybody to be with me um, when a social worker or a lawyer when they do an inspection. I am disabled. It's disabled with my eyes, my ears due to an accident, um, my back, my spine, and, and, and then being in this situation, living in this situation where repairs need to be made in my apartment, um, increase some um, other attributes that I will go into tomorrow on January 3rd. It, it, it just attributed to a lot of other stuff. And it's a not a good time to do any kind of work and moving people around during a pandemic. And that's the reason why I'm doing this video. Principle and when did the rules change? And the inspection, those are the three. But the principle of the thing is there's a rule that says that if you're a legal tenant, which I am, born and raised here in Williamsburg Housing, it didn't become a project till in later years. But when it was first built in 1934, and people started moving in 1938. It was a housing development for immigrants and other races of people. It was like a melting pot, very nice place to live. Things, like all good things, change. And uh, the bottom line is, the rules always been two empty apartments in this complex that if the legal tenant has problems in the apartment and it needs fixing, then they supposed to, they being the tenant, go to an empty apartment while uh, uh, renovations, repairs are made for a while temporarily, not stay in these empty apartments that they're reserved for that purpose. And then the legal resident can go back to the original apartment they rented. Now, I don't know when the rules change, but I talk to lawyers, I talk to people for two months now, as well as being harassed and, and banging on the door and open the damn door I'll talk about that tomorrow. I'm just doing a quick introduction video. Bang on the door and, and all of that. I had to take for two months. I didn't even have a holiday. And it's not much of a holiday because I was busy moving stuff around, making sure that they have free access, that there's nothing interfering with the inspectors coming on January 4th to do the um, in-debt inspection, which um, the landlord already knows for five years that this apartment is in disrepair and in fact my mother died and it may have I said may have I didn't say it did because I'm not a lawyer or a doctor but it may have hastened her death these conditions we don't know and we'll never know but I know that I have problems now that I didn't have and it's not in my genetics in my family and speaking of genetics I am West Indian black my father's from West Indian uh, Ireland. I'm Irish and Cherokee my mother, Cherokee, black, some Blackfoot, Black American, African American, and Irish. And I have an Irish godmother, and I also had an Italian 
godmother, who was a lo real estate lawyer, who am I wish she was here now, because if she was here, I wouldn't be doing this video, because she would have resolved that, that situation, because she knows my, my rights, and she was born and raised around this neighborhood, not in Williamsburg housing, but in this neighborhood, in parts of the neighborhood, it's mostly Italian, Russian, Polish, some Czech, Slovenia, Asian, uh, Arab, and uh, Hispanic, of course. But um, it was mostly in that part, it's just Italian and Slavic and some Asian. And people love my mother and love me, wrote letters um, to try to keep me here in this neighborhood. Because when she died, when my mother died, I know I'm jumping ahead, um, landlord tried to get me out so they can get market rent. That's all it was about. And I fought for two and a half years in terror, harassment, 11 adjournments, and then I did win. I know I'm jumping forward, but I'll explain and fill it in tomorrow. I'm kind of tired today because I've been going out steadily, getting up 2.30 in the morning, boxing and packing up stuff in case I do have to leave by myself because my friends don't want to expose me and everything and make me sick. And I don't want to, you know, vice versa. So, um, but they've been very helpful and very supportive. But, and, and like I said, wrote letters at the time when I was going to be evicted because landlord conveniently lost, well, it didn't say, said that they couldn't find my name on the lease, but the judge saw through it and the judge uh, ruled in my favor. Born and raised, she has a right to have that apartment after mother's death, end of story. Anyway. This is a picture, so you won't think I'm hiding. I'm not, but this is the way of things about the uh, mask and stuff, and plus I'm not a pretty person. So I feel more comfortable and at ease doing this. But this is me. This is me. I was christened um, Roman Catholic. I hope you can see. It's kind of a glare. Now, you can see this. This is um, my mother. You see her, she looks Spanish, but she looks Italian but she's mostly American Indian and, uh, like I said, black American and Irish. Her, her hair was very long. She was pushing, like, uh, almost 80 then. And she looks good, right? Very beautiful. All my family looked that way. And that's me there. I was Christian Roman Catholic, and that's where I have the two godmothers because uh, something was wrong with my heart. And she said, well, we can't get back to our, our church because her family built a Baptist church her and some other people down south during Reconstruction. And, um, and yeah, we got a history. It's a long story. I'm writing a book about all of this, her story and my story. But anyway, um, so I, I was baptized Roman Catholic, and, and thus the reason for two godmothers. One is Irish that was here in 1950. She was here. And then she met my mother later. This was all before the 1934 building of Williamsburg and all of that was way before I was born. But they knew each other, my mother and, the, um, and my Irish godmother. And then she knew um, the Italian godmother that was a real estate lawyer later on. So that's a picture of me. This is how I look. No, no secret. And that's my mother. Okay. She died in 2015, and that's when my hell started. And that's when I said I'm going to fill in the blanks that landlord tried to get me out and went as far as going to drill a hole in the lock and throw me out when my mother's body was across the street at the church on August 12th in 2015. And I'm on the Internet because I did an interview with uh, local news, and uh, that's the only reason I could stay and fight for two and a half years. Even though I was terrorized, I was scared, and all kinds of things that was happening, I did win. I did get a lawyer and win. But the thing wasn't resolved from 2015 till now about these repairs. And this department does need repairs. And I was, I'm, tell, I'm told different things about HP action. And I said it's not the matter of them not doing it. It's where I'm going to go. And that's why I said that when it was built, it was, the idea was if it was a problem with the apartment, legal tenants have a right to go to one of the empty apartments that's available until the original apartment that is rented is fixed. I don't know where the, the, this, maybe people are talking because they want to um, hear themselves speak, I don't know. But I'm being told for the past two months now, with the pandemic and hard to get anybody to come to be a witness on Monday, 
because that's when that's the reason why I'm rushing to try to do this video because I I don't know what is going to happen. They could kick me out and I'm I'm disabled with eye spine and all of that and then I got some additional um problems due to these conditions and like I said it could have uh hastened my mother's death because I do have papers about her developing different ailments while she was in here supposed to be a renovated apartment um and then it goes back to the renovations back in the 90s of the roof and we lived on the top floor and everybody had to leave put my mother in an apartment that was filthy moved her to this one and she died she had emergency surgery she lived five years and then she died so all that i'll detail but the thing is i don't know what's going to happen on monday I'm trying to call for help, and I called two months, and it's hardly anybody that can be there on Monday to help me. So, anyway, I'm just um, introducing.